guys hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are joining this channel for the very first time my name is onomi and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much you guys are amazing so today i want to make this sharp sharp liquid soap that foams and is very very it is good fast in just five minutes guys make sure you watch this video till the end i love you So guys, welcome to another DIY episode with Onomi's Empire. Now let's prep in all our ingredients. First of all, get a bowl of water. This water is about 9 liters of water. Please take note, 9 liters of water. You're making 10 liters of soap. And make sure your water is very, very clean. This production. Now we are going to prep in all our ingredients. Guys, this production is going to be really, really fast. The first thing we want to use is our SLS sodium lauryl sulfate. This is 160 gram. I'm going to put all the measurements on the screen. This is a foaming agent. This will help our soap lather very, very well. So that's the first thing you add to your water. Make sure you follow this particular step so that you come out with the exact results. I came out with so after adding this to the water stir completely please you have to stir this stir it it dissolves my dissolved very very fast so I don't know how yours will dissolve if yours will dissolve faster enough or my did so stir stir and stir till it comes clear trust me it will and this is about like few seconds and we are done guys the next thing we want to add to this production is soda ash this is a cleaning agent that enhance the wash performance of our soap this will also help to thicken our soap and we are adding our soda ash into our dissolved sls production guys and when you add this please make sure you stir this stir very well this will not dissolve faster trust me this will take some time very but well sure guys you, you know so that ash is very very good for our soap so make sure you don't miss it in this formulation now the next ingredient we want to use is our stpp sodium tri polyphosphate this is a strong cleaning and thickening agent this will allow surfactants who work at their full potential in this particular formulation so after adding my stpp i'm still going to stir this production now stpp2 is not going to dissolve very very fast you know those times when we make soap we just keep it in one corner dissolve them one by one no <laughs> now the next thing we want to add is a sodium sulfate this is an effective strengthening agent this will strengthen fibers and remove heavy duty dirt and stubborn stains from our fabrics remember we're making a laundry product and this can also serve as a multi-purpose soap now after adding we are adding in a sodium sulfate and we are going to still stir stir this completely guys the next one we want to add is our nitrosol which is a cleansing and a thickening agent now this nitrosol please i'm begging you guys stir this very well so that you don't have lumps in your soap the reason you saw me adding everything together is because i was holding the phone and i was also pouring it. if not i'll be putting it as i'm pouring it i'm stirring it i'm pouring it i'm stirring it so that there'll be no lumps guys stir this thing very well don't come and tell me ma my own separate this works super super fast and it's very very effective and it came out so well you're going to see the end product of this soap now we are going to apply the next or add the next into our production which is our texapon this is a foaming booster agent it also uh, help to make our soap lather really really well now it's already dark now because i came back late from work so i had to turn on the light so that you could see this very well so i'm adding my texapon after my nitrosol do not forget follow this process 
fast fast if you're in a hurry and always in a hurry like i am <laughs> you try this method and trust me it came out very well no need to pour water dissolve your chemical and keep it and wait for some time then add it no this method is super super good now the next thing we want to add is a lapsa we all know that uh this is also called a sulfonic acid this is a foaming agent and this will remove tough stains from our fabrics and also whatever i want to do with this soap this is super super good immediately you add in your lapsa you notice that it will have like a foamy there's uh what we call an exothermic reaction to this particular soap it will rise up and it will form a very thick ladder do not be afraid just keep on stirring and you can see <laughs> this soap is super super good guys after stirring for almost 10 minutes this is how our soap is the soap is super thick very very thick now if your soap is thick like this please you can add water to this if you're watching this video and you love all my videos please like this video share this video to your friends and family support on no miss empire and also drop a comment in the comment section to all my customers that patronize me thank you so much i really appreciate you god bless you back to our production guys and this is the next day after making this soap you can see how thick this soap is this soap is super super thick thick for me and it is very very good if you want to add water like i said earlier to this soap if you don't want a thick soap please go ahead i'm going to add my preservative to this soap you can use sodium benzoate you can use jama plus and you can also use formalin now the next thing i'm adding is my color you can use any color of choice but i decided to choose green for this particular formulation guys and this soap came out super super amazing <laughs> to all the lovers of green please bear with me <laughs> we are using much of green this month <laughs> so this soap after adding your color stir it please stir it stir it very well stir this soap very well so that everything can combine make sure you mix your color a little of your color uh in water before adding it into your production do not say i did not warn you now the next thing i added here was fragrance so that this can have a very nice scent i added the fragrance into the jug that's why i seen it kind of green and this is the outcome of our soap this soap is super clear more clear than anything like it is for me it is thick and it can be used for so many purposes to wash your clothes to wash dishes so many things guys and you can see this is the end product guys if you are going to try this please let me know in the comment section and let me know the outcome make sure you try this so please and let me know now let's test the ladder and see if this soap laddered very well you know now as usual as usual <laughs> this soap laddered so well it formed so well guys now why i call this soap sharp sharp because everything was done very fast no need of dissolving chemicals does not mean the other way of doing soap is not good you can also do that but this is another method and i like you to try this so guys we've come to the end of this video please like this video share this video to your friends and family support or no miss empire guys i see all your likes your comments your shares god bless you thank you so much one love guys